The crypto markets right now are in extreme red. Several situations have come up that we need to discuss. New York state regulators now take the place of the SEC, push Gary Gensler aside and say, guess what, homie? We got it this time. New York just went after Ethereum, declaring it a security, saying, hey, guess what? We could buy this kind of stuff in our state. They're not registered with us. That's an unregistered security, setting the stage for the rest of crypto to be regulated state by state. This sets the stage for what Jerome Powell was talking about when it comes to states' rights versus federal rights. Oh boy, is this video going to cover a bunch of deep topics and breaking news stories that's affecting crypto hard? Let's get into it. All right, here's the deal, everyone. We're going to cover all the stories that matter to you. Yep, here we go. Heat map. First things first, Bitcoin broke 22,000, broke 21,000, broke 20,000. Bitcoin right now sitting at 19,913, down 8.1% last 24 hours. ETH getting declared a security by New York State regulators, down 8.42. XRP could not keep the fuel going in the rally to break 40 cents. They have now retracted quite heavily, down 7% to 36 cents. XLM broke through 8 cents, 7.7, down 5.6 right now. So what the heck is happening? Well, first things first, we had the hearing yesterday. Had over 5,000 of you watching that hearing. This was the first one on digital assets, by the way. There were some detractors. There were some pretty positive people there in the crypto web three space. Now, the cool takeaway from this was that we had some people out there that we know are on our side. But there's so many people on the other side that they're not just anti-crypto, but they're anti-crypto and uneducated about crypto. A lot of the detractors in this hearing when they were talking about crypto, all they talked about was nefarious activities, nefarious activities, nefarious activities. You know what I can do nefarious activities with cash just as well, if not even easier. So the detractors had a trouble separating the use case of crypto. They had trouble separating that you could use crypto for payments, peer to peer, business to business, cross border. They had trouble separating that from the scams and they lumped all of crypto as a scam as something with no value there is massive value getting aid to people within seconds there is massive value to ripples odl where businesses don't have to preload the money to send it they could just bring funds at time exchange it boom done move go amazing use case but they didn't want to separate that the detractors were lumping crypto in this big ball. And don't you worry, we're going to get to what New York state regulators did. But they were they were lumping crypto into this big ball saying everything is all the same. See what's on the heat map up on the screen? They said this heat map, they're all the same. Forget the names. Erase every name on here. They're all the same. We're going to regulate it the same as such. Done. That's how they were looking at crypto. They didn't see the difference between an XRP versus how say a matic functions or a die or a stable coin that's right they didn't even want to bring up the stable coin the detractors were being negative so that's where we started seeing some pullbacks okay now pullback started earlier in the week with silvergate we already talked about that to death if you haven't seen that just check on one of the earlier videos so that was the hearing by the way if you want to watch the hearing in full look for this right here it says live hearing destroying crypto that is going to be in the live stream folder in my videos. All right, you go in there, you find it, watch it. Great thing. We had tons and tons of people watching. All right, what else we got? Voyager liquidates 56 million in Ethereum, SHIB, and other ERC20 tokens. All right, liquidations. They're going to be happening. We got plenty of places that went bankrupt. Plenty of places, a little Chapter 11 action. The takeaway from this, though, is this is going to really, really impact these very low circulating supply or maybe you know maybe high circulating supply but low market cap low tvl kind of projects you know where like someone like this dumping it like in a bankruptcy could really like screw them up but still negative pressure on shib ethereum and other erc20 stuff liquidations are going to occur and you're going to see more and more of them all right market cap there's something called the death zone the death zone refers to in hiking where when you get so high up in elevation that you cannot breathe. I brought that up. I'm, I'm a hiker. I'm a climber. I love alpine-based stuff. I love high-altitude stupid shit. Love it. Love climbing junk like that. 
the death zone, right? Where you don't have oxygen, you need supplemental oxygen. You run out of air, so you either die right there or you go back down and get more air, okay? So what you're seeing in the crypto market, look at this. This is market cap for the last three months. December 30th, we were at $795 billion. So we went from 795, we started breaking on up to 1.1 billion, cool. But we ran out of oxygen, we were in the death zone, it just inflated too much. So then what happened was we have then such retraced from 1.1, 1.13 to now $917 billion. So yes, we're still up from December, which is good. But again, we have to get back to a level where we can sustain it. Volume isn't there and there's not enough capital there. And with Silvergate having trouble, there's definitely not enough capital there. Or there's not enough routes for capital. Oh, the hearing stuff. But now into the big things that you're wanting to hear. Yep, New York sues Qcoin and claims ETH to be a security. All right, interesting story here. I'm going to leave this tear sheet up, but I'm going to tell you summary of several other articles that I've read. Several other interviews. Just like it did with Coinex, the office of the Eternal General was able to buy and sell cryptocurrencies on Qcoin in New York, even though the company is not registered with the state. AG James seeks to stop Qcoin from operating New York and block access to its website until it complies with the law. We're going to be getting into states' rights and federal rights. All right. Qcoin. Essentially, here's what happened. AG, the New York AG, was able to go use Qcoin while they were in the United States, in New York, and they were able to buy Ethereum and other cryptos. Because they were able to buy Ethereum and other cryptos while they were living in New York, they were like, hey, you don't have the New York State licensure that you need to operate here. So what you're doing is you're selling unregistered securities. One of the things was Ethereum. They're declaring Ethereum here an unregistered security. The reason that is so big and the reason why this had such a rough, rough effect on the market has to do with the size of Ethereum, its movement over to proof of stake, which was big. I got the green regulators off its back. But what they're saying is Ethereum now is even a security. So think of the crypto like umbrella, right? Bitcoin and Ethereum, your big ones way up at the top and you know we got the rest of them that kind of fall underneath, right? Think about that. So now you've got Ethereum, the second one from the top, market cap wise. They're like, yeah, you know what? That's a security. That's not a commodity. They're not decentralized enough. That sets the stage for the rest of crypto out there to be declared an unregistered security. So now here's the thing is what the New York AG did. The New York AG now, and this was in other articles that I was reading. They share a little bit in this one, but I'll summarize for you. What the New York AG did and what they say they're going to keep doing is they are going to keep going on exchanges and they're going to keep buying stuff. And every exchange that they're successful going on to buy stuff that's not registered with New York State, they're going to go after them, they're going to ban them, and they're going to just try to shut it down for that state completely. Try to get the websites blocked, IP locator blocked, stuff like that. States' rights versus federal rights set in the stage. It's getting scary here in the United States. Crypto will survive, but the way it's going to survive here in the United States is messed up. All right, so now that's the New York Attorney General, okay? Now, I want you to think of how the New York Attorney General is going after all of these other ones. Kraken as well. I mean, there's a whole bunch of them. New York AG is going after California, has gone after some, Alaska has gone after some. So the New York AG is just going to go to exchange, 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 exchange. You're not registered, boom, under registered securities. There you go. That's why the market is pounding, pounding red. So now let's talk about states' rights versus federal rights because not only are you seeing it here where states now are doing their own thing, but what you also heard and the over several thousand of you heard was Jerome Powell a few days ago live up on the hill. Jerome Powell even said, yeah, maybe we should do states' rights because the feds can't get their stuff in line. Okay, so now that we're talking states' rights, and yeah, Jerome Powell brought it up. When they were at the hearing, they were asking him, they asked him, you know, how do you feel about states taking their own action and so forth with like banking laws and regs? And Jerome Powell was like, I got no problem with that. And they were like, well, what about, you know, digital assets? He's like, yeah, I've got no problem with that either. He said, in fact, that might even be the best way to do it, considering we can't even get the federal regulators, you know, in line from what he's heard, taking a jab at Gary Gensler in the SEC. Well done, Jerome Powell. By the way, Jerome Powell is pro-crypto. Pro digital assets, definitely heavy, heavy pro stablecoin. He's not a fan of the meme, though. Just throwing it out there. So states' rights versus federal rights, how would that look? 
Well, think of the cannabis industry. Yes, I know how to say it. I'm just avoiding the algorithms. My God, how many times do I read that in the comments down below? You have some states where it's legal and some states where it's illegal. If you want to participate in cannabis and you live in a cannabis friendly state, you're welcome to use there, right? You know, buy at dispensaries and so forth. Now, right next door, the border, that state right next door, it could be illegal. You can't. In fact, it could be even be a felony in that state. So if you want to participate, you have to live then in states where it is cannabis friendly, cannabis legal, or at least, you know, um, decriminalized. Or you just do whatever the hell you want because no one really gives a crap anymore. But I'm saying for those of you that want to follow the law to the T. Imagine crypto being the same way. New York is obviously like, yo, anti, anti crypto. So that would mean states laws, states rights type thing that New York could ban crypto. A state like New York, who's doing a darn good job now going after exchanges for unregistered securities, going after crack. And New York's list of who they've gone after is a massive one. Tens and tens and tens and tens of millions. Uh, Mashinsky. New York was the first one to go after Mashinsky, too. So, yeah. So then what? If you're a New York resident, you either have to break the law, VPN it. Right? And I don't want to say break the law, but you know what I mean. Skirt the law, skirt the rules, VPN it, anonymizer it, change your location and, and participate that way. Or you move to a state that is crypto friendly. I mean, that's that's what we're setting up here. Jerome Powell on the hill said, hey, look, <clears throat> crypto is moving forward. Digital assets are moving forward. And federal regulation at this pace, he said, is not working. That sets the stage for states' rights. But seriously, would you really want it? I mean, like, if you're, like, super pro-crypto, big into NFTs, big into development, maybe that's even your job, you're a coder or dev. And you're like, dude, so my industry that I work in is essentially illegal in my state? Like, what the hell is this? Like, this is, like, prostitution or selling cannabis? Come on now. No, no, I, I, hold up, hold up. Some of you out there have been very quick to say, and I'm giving you credit, but Klaus, seriously, states' rights is better than nothing. And you know what? The more I think about it, I think you're right. I think you're totally right with that. States' rights in this instance would be better than nothing because right now at the pace that we're going on a federal level, nothing's getting done. When we watched the hearing yesterday, you know what they said? Chief legal officer at Coinbase said, they asked him, they were like, you know, Gensler's out there saying how easy it is to register. It's one simple form. You know what he said? He said, no, it's not. And he says, and guess what? They don't even return our calls back. They don't even meet with us. They don't even do anything. He said, they make it extremely tough. So who's telling the truth and who's lying? You see what I'm saying here? So what Jerome Powell is saying is because we've got this mess on a federal level, we may have to go with states' rights, just like with Kenebus. Messed up stuff, everyone. But it is true. Some regulation would be better than not. But how messed up would that be to like legally purchase crypto? You would have to like drive across the border of a state that is crypto friendly, go there and buy it. Like, come on, man. Like, this is like, what are you going to be like crypto mules? Like, this is so messed up. So that's why the market is red. It's because of those events. I appreciate all of you that have been watching. The channel has been growing despite the crypto winner. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Now, you want more Crypto Web 3 action tailored for you? That's this video right here. My life outside of crypto, fishing, hiking, camping, car camping, stuff like that. That's this channel right here. Till more news breaks, you cool cats have a great rest of your day. And thank you very much for the various levels of support.